All right, so we're going to talk about surface mount devices. We're going to start with the resistor. If you have one that has three digits, it is going to be typically a 5% tolerance resistor. And the first two digits are going to be exactly what they say. And then the third digit is going to be a multiplier. So the example I give up there is 222. The first two numbers is 22. The third is a is two zeros. So it would be 2.2 kilo ohms. And then the second example is 333. So you'd have 33 with three zeros at the end, which would be 33 kilo ohms. So this one here is a three-digit resistor that has a letter in it. The letter shows where the decimal point is, and it also tells you what the value of the resistor is. So if it's an R, then the R equals a decimal point. And the example I get for R is R33, which would be 0.33 ohms. And then a K, capital K would be kilo ohms. So the example I give is 22K, so that would be 22 kilo ohms. Capital M, typically a mega ohm resistor. Uh, the example I give is 1M0, so it would be 1 mega ohm resistor. And I found a couple sites that show uh, something else. Uh, where a capital M or a small m could equal milliohms, or a capital L could equal milliohms, and I show the sources that I found those. Next is the four digit resistor, uh, where it shows four numbers. It's the same as a three digit resistor, only the first three numbers are exactly what it says and then the fourth number is a multiplier. So the examples I show is 2222 two, 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 um, where the first three numbers are 222 two, two, and the fourth one is a multiplier which you add two zeros which would be 22.2 kilo ohms and then the second example is 3333 three, 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 where you have the multiplier adding three zeros after 333 three, three, which equals 333 kilo ohms. And a four digit resistor is typically a 1% tolerance. Now here's another example with the letter. It's the same as a three digit, where the letter equals the decimal point. The letter also equals the value. So R is just wherever the decimal point is. The K would be kilo ohm, M would be mega ohm, and then I'll show the other two sources that show something a little different. Uh, the example I give up there is 22K2, which would be 22.2 kilo ohms, 3R33, which equals 3.33 ohms, 10M0, which would be 10 mega ohms. Then you have the EIA 96 code, which is a 1% tolerance. Uh, the first two numbers equal a, they cross reference to a, another value. And then the third digit is a letter, which is a multiplier code. So the example I give is 23A, 23 cross references to 169. And then A is the multiplier of 1. So you got 169 times 1, which equals 169 ohms. And then that's at a 1% tolerance. The second example is 56D, which 56 cross references to 374. And then D is times 1,000. So it would be 374 kilo ohms at 1%. I found another website that showed a uh, different letter and number uh, combination. So the first letter would be 
the multiplier, and then the two numbers after that equaled the cross reference to another value, and also showed what tolerance it was. So the examples I give there is A23. So A is a multiplier of 1. 23 is the code for 820. So 820 times 1 equals 820 ohms, and then also set the 2% tolerance. Now the second example is D56. D is a multiplier of 1,000. 56 cross references to 390. So it would be 390 kilo ohms at 10%. And I show the chart below so you can cross reference it yourself. This is the only site that I found that at. Alright, so I have a few other sites that showed uh, something different than the normal. That top one there was showing that the letter B and letter Y for the multiplier codes was being phased out because they looked too much like an 8 or a 4. And then that second one there showed uh, the multiplier code being completely different. Um, where the X was a 1 instead of the A. And I think it was just wrong, but could be a manufacturing uh, decision, not not standard. Uh, that third one down there just showed uh, the multiplier code going all the way to H, uh, which was 10 mega ohms. Um, and that's it. So if it is a manufacturing difference, it's uh, best to just check with a meter and know for sure. I also found a website that showed a colon or two squares stacked on top of each other uh, is equal to the number 8. And I gave a couple examples there of 1 colon 2, which would be 1 8 with two zeros at the end. So 1.8 kilo ohms, and since it's a three-digit resistor, it'd be five percent tolerance. And then uh, show another example there: one, two, and then the two squares on top of each other, and then three. So it'd be 128 kilo ohms. So it'd be 128 with three zeros after it. So here's one you might see that just has a zero or three zeros and the value of that is just zero ohms it's basically just a jumper wire just being used to uh, get it from one solder point to another um, so it's just a jumper and it's zero ohms